already just looking at Satisfactory here. Been playing it, didn't stream it, it's fine. I uh, may do that soon, but I wanted to give everybody an overview of what I've had going on here. So, I found that I did a lot more initially than I really needed to. So, there's that. Alright, there we go. Alright, so come on down. Alright, so this is the uh, copper manufacturing house, but let's take it from the... This will probably hurt, but that's okay. Yep, that hurt a little bit. Okay. So starting from the mining operation, found this guy right here. He's pumping out ore into three different locations inside the building. And are going to three different smelters. Then we're combining them all and ushering them into a storage container just for a buffer. I've got my biomass generator strictly for these three smelters and the mining operation out there. Conveyor belts are going upstairs through that lovely hole right there. So here's the take note. These are the right hand stairs. So they look normal. We'll, we'll get to that later. I've already reported that to the feedback loop. This is fine, but you'll see why later. Uh, or maybe you've already seen. So here's the my, biomass generator for the top floor. And here we have it split off to, let's follow the path here. Okay, so we're coming into a splitter from downstairs with all the ingots. And from there we're going to three different constructors. And they are configured as such, all putting out wire. As you can see. And all three of those are being combined again. No, I'm sorry, two of those are being combined. And they're going into this buffer storage container. There's the spools. Then over on this side, I'm feeding it back into another constructor, and this one is taking the wire spools and turning it into cable. And of course, we have another buffer container. All of those are ready to exit the building. We've had no use for putting them out yet, which is why I said that I did more than I really needed to at this point. Okay, going back downstairs. Well, the front door, oh, I got a couple storage boxes over there, no big deal. So there's the outputs. So that one right there will be the copper wire and that one will be the cable. All right, so over here is our concrete operation, liming operation, if you will. Just so happened to pick a spot that had some limestone down here as well. So there's limestone miner. That conveyor belt's coming up into the other part of this building, the second area. And we're just splitting that conveyor off into two constructors which are making the concrete banks. And those get split again and come out here into a buffer container that just sits outside. Easy enough. Ta-da. Alright, now this one is the iron operation. I happen to find two iron deposits here, so those are being combined into this conveyor belt here, which as you can see goes into a splitter. Come around here, and that's going into three different smelters with two biomass generators, specifically because those guys, as you can see, are five megawatts in operation. So that's 10 megawatts right there. And then once we get in here, these are four apiece. So that's going to bring us a total of 22, which is over the limit for one. So I have kind of split them. So this guy's running the mining operation. So he's got plenty of capacity left. And then this guy's running here, so. Then everything comes out from the buffer containers of the uh, smelters comes up to this lovely oh. Give me a second. so anyway it comes out of this lovely conveyor goes around to the top floor now we'll jump up here. 
So here's the stair thing I was talking about. The normals are actually inverted, it looks like. So you can still see that there's some top to the stair left, but it definitely looks completely odd. So this is why I jumped the stairs, because it's just quicker. All right, so then up here, we've got three belts coming in. This is the input belt, it takes us back, goes into another splitter in which we're feeding three constructors, two of which right now are configured for the iron ingots, and, or I'm sorry, two of which are configured for the iron plates, and then this one is configured for the iron rods. And all three have buffer containers. Two of them are recombined into the plates. One for the rods is on its own belt. Now, the fun part about this is that kind of built it in such a way that if I really feel like it, uh, I believe I can easily just change this conveyor to go into that one, and even combine the third one if I want to, and just configure the operation for how I like. If I need more iron rods, then I'll convert some of the constructors over for that. So, those two output belts. This is the fun part. Alright, so the steel output belt goes over to the assembly house over here. Him. And he comes into this window, and then the, uh, or the iron rods actually go downstairs first, but they also come upstairs, so I'll show you how that works. And the hurt too. Okay, so inputs from the rods, it gets split up. I use this splitter just to get a clean 90 degree, and then that way I can come out and add more later if I need to. It really wasn't necessary at this point. But uh, here we have the assemblers, or no, I'm sorry, more constructors. This rod is, I'm not sure why he's not set, but uh, he's supposed to be set for making screws, both of them are. Probably my late night reconfiguring. Okay, so those go into buffer containers which get combined at the end and go outside, at which point they go up this conveyor and up into the second floor. Back to where we were. And good luck getting in there. So then my assemblers up here are taking, one of them is taking in iron rods and screws coming from up downstairs, and that is turning them into the rotors, and then this one should be making reinforced iron plates, and that one is going to be taking in the steel plates and the screws. Got a couple of biomass generators because these things are power hungry. 15 megawatts a piece. I actually have both the generators tied into one spot because I am also powering the constructors downstairs. And it is kind of a shaky way of doing it, but it works. And then from here, I've got the two conveyors going out to the space elevator. So that's as quick as I can make it. And uh, we'll continue on with it hopefully later today.